Hi, today I want to talk about listening and I want to talk about listening in a very specific way. Listening for me is super important because it's part of communication. We have the receiving part of communication and then we have the giving part of communication. And listening is obviously part of the receiving, but it's actually also part of the giving. So communication, as we know, is throughout our life. It's in our personal lives, it impacts us there as we're communicating with our kids, with our family members, with our friends, and of course at work. We, some of us, we have direct reports, you have colleagues, you have managers, you have customers, and so we can see that communication is everywhere. So back to listening. At CTI, the Coaches Training Institute, we looked at listening in a very specific way. It was segmented in three different levels. And some of us, we might say that today we even have a fourth level. I'm gonna explain the levels to you. I'm gonna give you some examples and then I'm gonna give you some homework because I would like you to practice and just see where you can take it. So listening level one is um, the level that is all about us. When we are in listening level one, we're really paying attention to what's going on with ourselves. So one of the examples would be that I'm having a conversation with somebody and the person is talking, but I'm making it all about me. And everything that person is saying is coming back to me and reminding me of what's going on with myself. So somebody might say, hey, how are you doing, Barbara? Um, and I might say, I'm doing good, how are you doing? and the person tells me something about themselves and I immediately make it about myself and saying, oh, let me tell you what's going on with my life, how my weekend was and all the horrible things and the, all the wonderful things that happened to me lately. It could also be that I'm sitting in a meeting and somebody's talking about a problem and instead of continuing to ask questions, I am starting to think about how could I solve it? What does that mean? What are they thinking about me? Do they like what I have to say? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's li listening level one. And by the way, I didn't say this. It's not that one level is better than the other. The ideal situation or the ideal way of being is that we can understand where we are and then quickly move us, ourselves around from one to two to three, depending on what's required in the situation. Level two is when I am having a conversation and it's all about the other person. I am asking them questions to get deeper into their experience. I wanna know what's going on. So if somebody's telling me something about themselves, I might say, well, how was that for you? And what uh, did you experience? And so I'm coming from a place of curiosity. I'm like a five-year-old and I'm just being curious without any judgment. Level three is when I am having a conversation with somebody and I'm also paying attention to the things that are not being said. I'm also paying to attention to the body language or I'm paying attention to the noise in the room or what's going on outside. So I sort of have this global uh, listening at all times. So when I'm in a meeting, I might see that somebody's fidgeting with their hands or I might pay attention to some uh, side conversation that's going on. But I also might say, it sounds like you wanted to say such and such, and then I'm checking it out with the person and they can say yes or no. So level one, it's all about me. Level two, it's all about the other person. And level three, it's paying attention to what's going on uh, in a 360 view. I want you to, for starters, just to be aware of what level of listening are you in? What is your default? Is it one, is it two, is it three? Where are you? And then I want you to see how quickly and easily you can move yourself from one level to the other level. And then just experiment with it and see what feels comfortable and where's your opportunity to expand. Also, sometimes it's a wonderful thing to you know, practice a level and then to see how that impacts the other person. So sometimes, um, you know, my clients tell me that they practice level two and all of a sudden, you know, they, the person on the other end really had a positive response because they felt received, they felt gotten, and they felt really supported. So now it's your turn. Uh, practice level one, level two, level three. There's a blog that I wrote about it. 
that I'm going to put in the comments so that you can read about it again. And then write to me. How did it work for you? What did you learn about yourself? And don't forget, most important, have some fun as you're improving your listening skills. Have a great day. Until the next time, take care.